So Anthem Bali released an emotional video that is a tell all about her marriage and divorce. Please take a look and tell me what you think about it. An article. Um, I have been called by journalists a lot lately and I've stuck to my no comment and it works for me. But I woke up today to something that was extremely personal that I had handed over to the court that has now made it to the papers. The situation that is happening right now in my life is indeed happening, but I would also just like a bit of space um, with regards to questions and so forth. I do believe that the system will do what is due and what is fair. I do believe in every way that the South African system is a fair one and our justice system ha has been built around creating fair decisions for those who can't make am amicable decisions. It has been a very long couple of years for me and in all of that all I ask is for silence, not for me or anyone else but for my children. Everything I have done till this day is to protect my children. All I've ever tried to do was be a great wife, a supportive wife, one that is respectful not only to my partner and everyone who is around him. I have now in me a fight that I've never understood but I understand why it was placed in me in this point in my life. It has been a very, very, very rough year, but I still stand tall and proud. It is indeed a situation no one wants to see themselves in, but here we are. I just, on waking up today, remembered this by Chimama Mandengozi. We teach our girls to shrink themselves, to make themselves smaller. We say, girls, you can be ambitious, but not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you will threaten the man. Because I am female, I'm expected to aspire to marriage. I'm expected to make my life choices, always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important. Now marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support. But why do we teach our girls to aspire to marriage? As we don't teach our boys the same. We raise our girls to see each other as competition. Not for jobs or accomplishments, which I think could be a good things. But we teach our girls to compete against each other for the attention of men. This, I know, is a narrative for a lot of women and I stand today and fight. Thank you.